when you become more and more coherent around the joy, the fundamental innate joy that's within you, the fundamental innate peace and harmony and happiness, that's frequency. It's not neutral. It draws people to you and it drives people away. It drives or draws. So when you become more you, some people cannot be with you anymore because there's no vibrational match. Other people that you've only known for a short period of time, you now know each other from the depth of being because they're there too. You're meeting at the sweet spot of self-knowing. Relationships are beautiful. They're beautiful tools for reflection and they're beautiful to explore depths, the depths of meaning and love and peace and joy and generosity. And you're not going to escape relationships. They're everywhere. Even if you go to the top of a mountain you're by yourself, you'll have interactive thoughts about them. So you might as well come off the reclusive mountain and participate so that you can grow. Here's the practice. This is meditation on life challenges, meditation on different aspects of our life. We want to meditate. That is, pay undistractable attention to that which is real within us, in the area of relationships, in the area of relating, in the area of this ship taking us to deeper intimacy and love. You're gonna close the outer eye. You're gonna squeeze your shoulders up and you're gonna tense your body and release. You're gonna keep the outer eye closed. You're gonna tense your body, squeeze the hands to the bottom of the feet, the shoulders to the ear, release. You're gonna do it one more time. Squeeze and release. At last release, sigh of relief, you're here, you're now, you're with yourself, you're with life. Remember the breath, it's a talisman for present moment that leads you into the eternal now. You're not longing for the future. You're not running from or running to the past. There are no good old days. Every day is bright. Every moment is bright with infinite potential. So we come right here, right now, where the breath is. The breath is right here. You're right here. I want you to think about a moment in your life where you encountered a field of love, support, kindness, for no reason whatsoever. Someone got you. And you were in a field of unconditional love, a field of support. And it wasn't because you won an award or received something glorious or did something good. It may have been in one of the worst moments of your life, but there was someone that just saw who you are. I want you to remember that feeling tone right now. That sense of taken care of. That sense of support, that sense of love. An encounter with kindness. Feel into that now. And lit, even the person that assisted in the encounter let them slowly fade away. But what remains is the vibrational encounter, that sense of being seen, that sense of being known to the core of your being, that sense of being loved and appreciated. Feel into that right now. And notice something wonderful, that you can feel into that without an external object. You can feel into this sense of being supported and being loved and appreciated. You can feel into your real self without an external object, without another person. Place your attention 
on this feeling, this contemplate, this feeling of the holy encounter, the encounter of love, the encounter of kindness, peace, compassion, being seen. What does that feel like? The outer eye is closed, the inner eye is open. Two eyes close, one eye open. And we're seeing, not physically, we're seeing, hearing, feeling, the heart behind the heart, the ear that's behind the ear, and the eye that's behind the physical eye. We're having an encounter with love. Being seen, appreciated. This is your foundation entering into the avenue of relationships. You're not trying to get this. You're bringing this. And it's increasing with every breath. Take a deep inhalation. Release. And let that feeling tone expand. Again, deep inhalation. Let it expand. It's exponentially expanding with every breath. Take a deep breath. Release. Expanding a thousandfold. What you are bringing with you is the feeling tone of appreciation, self love. You're developing a level of coherence around feeling support, even without an external object. You feel supported. You feel loved. You feel appreciated. It's amplifying within you, and you're bringing this frequency everywhere. Now notice, in the imaginal realm, that when you enter into relationships, friends, associates, intimate partner, that you're making a pact with yourself, a vow. Take a vow to bring this with you. And you'll begin to see it It'll begin to be activated in you and in those that you're intimate with. And that there's not a vibrational match at this particular time, they won't stay. You are a sovereign being and like an astronaut, you're carrying your own atmosphere with you. The atmosphere is self-love and appreciation, kindness, support. You're not looking to get this. You're looking to let this. If you try to get it, you will repel it. If you let it, you'll never be without it. It'll flood your relationships, deepen your friendships, and bring into your sphere those that can play at this level. Contemplate this for a moment. The breath is keeping you present. You have the feeling tone of a joyful, love-filled, supportive encounter. You don't need to have an object for it. It's a part of your feeling nature. You're tapping the mystic chord of memory so that it is right here with you, being amplified with every breath that you take. Your love is being perfected, first with yourself and in your relating. You're not looking to get this. You're looking to let this. 
Remember what I said, if you try to get it, you'll repel it. If you let it, it will be everywhere. Your relationships are about to change because you are changing. Be with this for a moment. You're setting yourself free. You are free. Be in this awareness and notice that even as you begin to open your eyes, the feeling tone of love, kindness, compassion, peace is not waning. As you enter into your field of relationships, you're bringing this. And you're adding this to your spiritual practice. So you become strong in it as days and weeks and months and years go on. Becoming a sovereign being with the authority over your own awareness. Have fun in your relationships. That's what they're about. It's fun and support and swimming in the grand ocean of love and peace and harmony. Go forth and multiply the consciousness. You can do this.